Oh. Did they shave your head? Uh, no. Yeah. We should still fix that chili ball at the time. Yeah. I didn't want to let that go. Again. Pretty wild, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks for coming, man. Yeah, thanks for cutting my hair. Anytime, bro. What do you think? Looks pretty good out here? Yeah, yeah. I like it. It's a nice setup. Pretty nice, man. Nice lion? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've got to have the lions. Some judgmental lion. <laughs> What are you thinking of doing with your haircut? Uh, probably a one on the uh, the sides and back. Okay. Up pretty high, and okay. then just kind of trim it on top. Cool, man. Has it been a little while? Yeah, like I, I was working on the Dave Mustaine hair, and okay. then I, uh, yeah, I decided against it. Yeah. Change of heart, so. Right. Uh, it's hard to grow your hair. It There's is. A lot of effort. Yeah, it sure. really is. Yeah. yeah. I'm pretty yeah. parched. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Totally, dude. You gotta stay hydrated when you cut hair. You have to, man. What have you been working on? Uh, I'm working on that new horror album, and it's, uh, I think I've I've written and recorded my parts for uh, 15 songs. Oh, wow. Yeah, I need to, I think I'm gonna probably come up with like 18 or 19 or so, and then kind of trim them back to get like the best 11 or 12. Okay. So. It's coming along pretty well, though. Where does Sense of Perdition fit in? Is it, uh, is it something that you could categorize? No. No. Um, yeah, it, uh, I don't know. We get called Gothic Country or Gothic Americana or basically the word Gothic in some kind of uh, old type of like Americana, country, folk kind of stuff. I think somebody compared it to Nick Cave on a cough syrup bender one time. Okay. And <laughs> the robo trip? Yeah, yeah, fair <laughs> enough. Yeah. You know, with the time loss and everything. So, oh. Yeah, it works. <laughs> Louder and louder shook the black gates of hell. I woke with a star like a drunk in a cell. How do you put your songs out? Uh, I self release. I, you know, I record at home, I just do everything myself, and I've been doing mastering lately too. Oh, wow. Yeah, so, um, you know, for like 50 bucks, you can put out an album. I've been like going at pretty breakneck speed on it though, compared to normal. Like, uh, our album Trinity, I think I worked on for like four years or something Whoa. before I put it out. Yeah, so that's a while. It's ridiculous, and yeah. I don't want to do that again. Is Nick Cave one of your bigger influences? Nick Cave is one of my bigger. In that totally sounded like a talk show question. Yeah, <laughs> I think like Nick Cave and Swans and Danzig and Depeche Mode have all been really big influences. Um, and I, I used to think that I was um, a bit immune to whatever I was listening to working its way into the stuff that I do. Yeah. Um, you know, it's like, oh, I'm pretty self-contained, but no, it, it absolutely makes a huge impact. What are you listening to? I haven't been then? listening to much of anything. Are you watching something? And I've been reading a lot. Oh, um, really? Yeah, I've been reading a ton. And actually, like, I've been trying to treat the album like a collection of short horror stories. Oh, okay. Um, so, like, uh, the, the last big album I did, Trinity, was, um, it was one huge narrative, and it was over an hour long, and it was just a, a huge amount of work. So with yeah. this new one, you know, I was like, well, I'm just gonna, you know, each song is gonna be self-contained. Each song is gonna be a little horror story. John down the last drop of brandy before he wrote a note. Where does that tradition come from? What does that even mean? Uh, oh, it's a, uh, it's a biblical term. It means people that are beyond salvation of Christ. Oh, wow. So the unsavable by anybody. Yeah. That's heavy, man. Doomed to hell. Absolutely. Yeah. So over the first three albums, they were pretty religiously themed. Um, I had this idea for like inverting the theology of the band. But do you remember Striper in the 80s, that Christian metal band? Yeah. You should refresh me, man. Oh, yeah. So they, uh, they were a big deal. They were, you know, like Poison or something, like a total hair metal band. And, um, and they got caught smoking pot. Oh no. And so like their fan base turned on them and said that they were satanic and you know burned their records and all that kind of stuff. So I thought it'd be really funny to start out with this like really hardline Christian band and then over the course of a few albums, which ended up taking like 10 years, uh, make the band absolutely evil, you know? If not satanic, then you know, the opposite of like a nice Christian <laughs> band. Otherwise, why are you doing it? Yeah, it was almost like a, an extremist religion ban in the beginning, just, you know, by, uh, not legitimately so, but that was like sort of the, uh, the theme of it. So now, yeah, I'm just doing But you've dark rocked it, man. Stuff. Well, that's yeah. done. I'm done doing religious albums. So, yeah? Yeah. Just horror now. Just horror, yeah. Yeah. At least for right now. Totally, <laughs> yeah. So 
So I'm gonna just fade, straighten this general shape out just a little bit more. Yeah, good. Then good. we're gonna be, yeah, dude, you gotta get it right. You have you know? to, yeah. You have to. If you don't, Absolutely. then people are gonna notice and talk about it. What are we doing? It. Well, it's a shit haircut, but we got some good shots. <laughs> <It's> totally. <laughs> you looked awesome doing it, though. Yeah, that was cool, yeah. So where are your fans? Where where do people where are people listening? Kind of all over, I guess. But it seems like for whatever reason in uh, Greece and Eastern Europe and Scandinavia and Brazil. Wow. It seems like oh, you're big in Brazil too. Huge in Brazil, oh, okay. yeah. Like <laughs> literally, like maybe a dozen fans in Brazil. So where do we find Sons of Perdition? How do I? How can I listen to you? Uh, you can go to sonsofperdition.com, but that's pretty outdated. There's a Facebook page. Um, there's a SoundCloud page. Basically, if you Google Sons of Perdition, unless you come across the German metal band with the same name, mm. um, then you'll find it. Okay. Yeah, so well, That's cool. It's out there. Well, I'm going to throw a little bit of this tonic in your hair. And uh, smells good. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah, it smells great, actually. It's got a nice orange scent to it. Nice. And then, uh, so really, it kind of just keeps it in place. Keeps it conditioned. Okay. And it's just easy to maintain through the day. All right. Very simple. Got it queued up and go, you know. Yeah, yeah, that does smell pretty nice. It does, it's yeah. nice, huh? Yeah. What have you got going on after this, man? I think I'm supposed to play a couple of songs. No! no. Live show to you? Yeah. Absolutely. Live bar. I mean, normally I sing to you when you're cutting my hair. It's true. So, it's not gonna be that different, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Zeb, should be all finished up, man. Why don't you go ahead and check it out? Let me know what you think. All right. Looks good, I like yeah. it. Yeah. Feeling good, man? Feeling good. Excellent. Well, thanks so much for coming. Super excited to see. Yeah. Super glad I could help you out. Thanks a ton. Looks great, man. It's been real. Yeah, absolutely. You should take care of that moss in the way. It'll put out somebody's eye. It's straight from Spain. Is it? That's <laughs> <laughs> Spanish from moss? Spain. It's Spanish moss. Yeah. It's like a plague. It's just as bad as the bamboo, really. Oh my god, you know? yeah. Just, just spreading like wildfire. Era. Yeah. I hate it.